Hey guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4.2 tutorial where we're going through kind of the basics and the starter, getting everyone revved up to some of the more advanced stuff. So, what we're going to do is, in the previous tutorial, we actually got into the Xcode, launched our project. Now what I want you guys to do is actually run the application that you've developed, or that you've opened up. So in this case, we did the tab bar application. So we're going to run it just so you guys understand what it looks like. So if you go up to the top right, I'm going to show you something just so when you run it you understand what you're running, how you're running it. Now when you were prompted earlier for the device you'd like it to run in, whether it was universal, iPad, iPhone, whatever it was, you uh, were given that option. We selected universal, so when we go up and we choose which device we want to run it on, we have a few different options there. And so we can run it on the iPhone, the iPad, or just a regular iOS device. And so in this case, uh, we'll just do the iPad for this, uh, this tutorial. But that's where you go and you switch between the two. So if you designed them in an iPhone, you can go and switch it to uh, iPhone and see what it looks like in the iPhone. So just so you guys know, now what we're going to do is run it. So you can either click up here and click Run, or the other option is you can go Product, Run, or Command R whatever you guys feel like so once that runs and loads up it shouldn't take much time at all because it's you know it's obviously the template the very basic we're uh, you can see we've got the iPad on screen now it's a little bit small for my eyes so if you go up to window you can go to scale and you can boost it up to 75 or 100 percent we're gonna do uh, actually we're gonna go down to 75 percent and so you can see we've got a, a bigger iPad on our screen, which we can look at here. And we've got, it looks like, two views. We've got a first view tab controller, and then we've got a second view uh, on the screen. Now if you look co closely, the template comes and it tells you that this view is actually loaded by the first view controller. An instance of the first view controller specified in the app delegate. So that kind of tells you where they're coming from and how they hooked up that first view. So that's what the basic tab bar looks like. Now if we X out of the iOS simulator, we're just going to go ahead and quit that. Now when you saw the application, you saw that it was hooked up in certain ways. They mentioned something about, you know, what app delegate, and then they also mentioned first view controller. And it still doesn't make sense to you guys because you guys are going, what What does that mean? What are all these first view controller, first view controller.h, first view controller.m? And we'll get into that. Don't worry about that. But what I want to go through today is the overall Xcode. Okay, we ran our application. Where? What is all this stuff in here? What is, what's this right bar and the left bar and the center area? So that's what we're going to go through right now. Now, the first area that's probably one of the most important areas is where all the classes are held and a class is basically what tells different parts of your application what what it's gonna do and so this whole area over here is called the navigator area and so this is gonna have again some of your classes it's also gonna have some supporting files if you have images or whatever else in there and then it's got your test unit which that's what you selected when we first launched our project and then it's got uh, the frameworks that you pull from. So anytime you reference, like, uh, I'm trying to think what you guys know and don't know. Basically, anytime you reference, like, a variable or float type or any type of thing that Objective-C-wise, those are going to be within your frameworks that are already written for you. So you don't have to worry about writing millions and millions and millions of lines of code. Um, they've already compiled it and they've put it in a framework for you. So it's got your frameworks, it's got your different products. If we have multiple targets within, um, this in this case we only have one, and then we have a test unit as well. So this is your navigator area over to the left. Now up here is going to be your toolbar. This toolbar is going to have you know run. It's going to be able to allow you to switch between. It's going to give you breakpoints so you can test your application, and see where your fall you know where you're faltering. Um, it's got uh, an editor, it's got a stand or an assistant editor, so you can run two editor screens right next to each other. And then uh, it's got the views. And we've got all those selected now just so you guys can see. But uh, obviously if you, you can shut those off, the different views off, 
and we'll get to the different views here in a second so the the far right one is the next one we're gonna go over and this is the ins kind of the inspector pane it's gonna be basically the whole um, different aspects and things that you can change within your user interface um, it also has class um, designations and identifications so just know that any kind of I would say any kind of modifications that you have to certain elements and visuals is gonna probably gonna be in this in this menu over here it of course handles all your objects and uh, some of your library stuff as well so the last type of area um, that you see down here at the bottom this is gonna be your debugger area and all of this I shouldn't say it's the last area because we still haven't even specified this but this this area in the bottom is your debugger area so you're gonna be shooting back um, things that have gone wrong in the in the in the uh, application also if you're doing any NS logs or, or shooting out stuff within the application it's gonna pop out down here so that's the area for the debugger this center area this whole center area is gonna be your editor so this could be editing your classes this could be editing your user interface it all happens in the middle here and then you're surrounded by the tools that you can use for uh, building that so that's kind of the basics to it um, you know again run your application get familiar with where everything's at you don't have to know what it does because we'll get into that but just know that uh, there's a lot of cool tools in here and you really can't mess anything up too badly so mess around with it test it get used to it and uh, we'll continue with the next tutorial on some of the more let's get into some of the more cool stuff I should say let's build our own applications now alright we'll uh, catch you guys in the next tutorial